Today we're taking a look at the fog or combination nozzle. Hi, my name is Matt Hinkle, and today we're starting the third video of our video series on nozzles. If you have not seen the first or second video, we're going to post some links so that you can see those. Uh, you may want to check those out before we go into the details of this nozzle. So today we're checking out fixed flow fog and combination nozzles. These nozzles, can you can find them in a range of different pressures that they operate at, 50, 75, and 100 PSI. This particular nozzle is a 50 PSI uh, version, and what that means is if I get 50 PSI to this nozzle, this nozzle will flow 175 gallons per minute at 50 PSI. So the, the nozzle has the ability to change the stream shape or the pattern, but does not have the ability to change the diameter or the adjustable feature of an adjustable gallonage fog. So the advantages of this nozzle, very easy to operate, easy for the pump operator, there's no fluctuation of, of uh, flow. It's just a fixed flow regardless of the pattern that you're on. I do want to show you a feature of this nozzle in particular. This is a Akron nozzle. Uh, and it is a breakaway version. So I have two different breakaways up here and I wanted you to see these uh, just so you can see what's out there. This nozzle on my left is broken apart already so you spin the fog tip off and behind that fog tip is a smooth bore. So the smooth bore uh, nozzle, you can get them in different tip sizes, 7 8 15 16 1 inch. Uh, you pick your smooth bore and fog tip combination and then you have the ability to screw off the fog tip and you have a smooth bore nozzle without the fog. You also have the ability uh, in some nozzles to have a twist shutoff on the fog tip and a ball valve shutoff on the actual nozzle itself. So what does that do for you? Well, if you have a breakaway nozzle like this, you can close the bell of this nozzle, which will shut the flow of water off. You can unscrew the tip, then take the tip off and extend the hose line from this bell. When you attach the tip to the end of the hose, you can screw it shut so it actually will shut off from the tip when you charge the line, you'll be able to actually operate the nozzle from the other end without a bail because it will actually close uh, at the end of the nozzle and then as you open it, it'll go to straight stream and then all the way to fog. So essentially you're getting two nozzles in one. Uh, some people really like the twist shut off, some don't because when you, when you turn it, it does shut off your flow of water. So you, you just have to know how to operate that nozzle. I uh, just wanted to have you see some of those nozzles that are on the market. This nozzle also, uh, you'll see some spinning teeth and that's designed to break the water into small droplets so that you'll create more heat absorbing capacity because you have more surface area on the water uh, of the water to absorb more heat energy. I also want you to see the stream shape here. So this nozzle in particular has a thumb indicator. In a lot of nozzles that you'll see, you'll have to rotate the, the nozzle pattern adjustment several times to move from full fog to straight or straight to full fog. This nozzle has a thumb adjustment or a thumb indicator and when you turn it, it goes all the way from fog to straight in about a quarter turn. So there's several nozzle manufacturers that are doing this now. Uh, this is a really nice feature because it's a quick adjustment. However you want it, you can really feather the pattern really nicely to adjust it. So quick summary, fixed combination nozzle, no adjustment of the, of the gownage. It's easy on the pump operator, pretty simple on the pump operator. They give a given pressure, they get a given pressure to the nozzle, and it flows the given amount that it's rated to. You have the ability to change this pattern, but you have the inability to change the gownage. So these nozzles are great for a variety of different fires, gas-fed, flammable liquids, all these different uh, fires because you have a pattern adjustment. You can use it for different applications. Thank you for watching the third video in our video series. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, and make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel to see the other upcoming videos. We're also going to post a lot of material and information on our website. We're going to post a link above. That website is www.boxalarmtraining.com. And then also make sure you go to our Facebook page and like our Facebook page. We post a lot more information there, a lot more resources for you to see. So check it out. Uh, so thanks for watching. I hope you come back and watch the other videos.